So as you follow along to this routine, all our sticks that we use are color coded. And if you buy yours off of Amazon or Tamu or wherever you buy your tools, if you bought the same ones, they obviously don't come color coded. So I'm just gonna show you show you and explain which are which, just so that you know. So we don't use these first two because they're too big to use for anything. So you can just set those aside because in most of my videos, we don't use them. And so you're left with these. So in this order, you can look. And it basically goes in this order from biggest to smallest. Green, blue, white, yellow, pink, and black down to the smallest one. Okay, so for today's color palette, I'm using these colors. So for paint color number one, I'm using the Decor Americana Buttercream. Buttermilk, not buttercream. Number two is Deco or Americana Light Avocado. Number three is Deco or Americana Sage Mint. And number four is Deco or Americana Calypso Blue. Number five is Deco or Americana Blue Raspberry. And number six is Craft Smart Multi Surface Radiant Gold. So, if you look closely at your tea light, you will notice little marks that we put. You're gonna take the little black stick with with paint color three, and you're gonna put a dot on each of those little lines as close as close as you can to the rim here, the edge. Yes, you want to make you want to make sure you re-dip into the paint before each dot so that they all stay the same size. The only time you won't you don't want to re-dip is when we're walking the dots and we want the dots to purposely get smaller. Okay, so once you put a dot on each of those little lines, you're going to put one in between those like that. <laughs> Tool. Yes, with the same tool. Okay, next up, you're going to need the black stick again with the pink twirly. And we're going to use paint color five. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the little black stick and make a dot almost in between a, almost in between the green ones, or my green ones, but a little bit above so that there's room. Then you're gonna take your pink twirly smaller end and make a teardrop down into that gap. Like that. <laughs>
<laughs> Next step, we're gonna take the pink twirly, the smaller end, with paint color six. And we're gonna make two little dots in between the teardrops, like that. Okay, so pink stick, pink color two, and we're going to put it, put the dot right above the teardrops like that. Okay, are we ready to continue? Yeah? Okay. <clears throat> we're gonna use the pink we're gonna use the pink twirly with pink color six. Pink twirly. Oh, um we're gonna use both sides because we're gonna walk the dots. So so you're gonna place with the using the bigger end, you're gonna place one dot. Uh, six. And then you're gonna switch to the smaller end and walk the dots around halfway, <laughs> re-dip, and then do the other one. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the pink twirly again, bigger side, so bigger side, and we're gonna walk the dots again, so you're gonna, one, number one, so you're gonna, using the bigger end, using the bigger end, you're gonna place the first dot, and then you're not gonna switch to the smaller end, but you'll re-dip, 
and walk the dots around. Yes. Next step, we're going to take the pink twirly, smaller end, with paint color four. And we're going to start here in between. And you're going to drag up to the top. <laughs> and then you're going to... And then you're gonna start at the same spot and then drag up the other way, like little birdies. Um, yeah, yeah. Smaller end, smaller end. Yes, yes, you dip it once. Yes, I dipped it once this way, and then I re-dip, and then do the other way. Okay, so next step, we're gonna take the white twirly, <clears throat> bigger end, with pink color two. Yes. And we're gonna go to these first dots that we made and we're gonna add a smaller dot in the middle like that. <laughs> Yes. Okay. 
Okay, so we'll take the white twirly again, bigger end, with paint color five. So, white twirly, bigger end, paint color five. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna place one dot right there, one dot above it, but still leaving a little space, and then two dots to the side of it, like this. Okay, next step, we'll take the pink twirly with paint color six. And what we're gonna do, so you're gonna take the bigger end and place it right above that dot. Then you're gonna switch to the smaller end and walk the dots straight out to meet to this dot. Yes. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the pink twirly again, the smaller end, with paint color three. And you're gonna start here in between, 
and you're gonna drag up. <laughs> yes, number three. Yes, small end, small end. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the white twirly, bigger end. Bigger end, yes. With paint color four. And you're gonna place one dot right there. At the base. So if you're really far down already with your design, like all the way over here, then you would be done. Okay, but for those of you who still have more room, we're gonna continue and we're gonna take the pink stick with paint color two. And we're gonna put it above those little, one, little dots like that. Okay, so next step, we're gonna take the pink twirly with pink color one. And we're gonna walk the dots. So using, so bigger end for this first dot, and then you'll switch to the smaller end to walk the dots around.
Okay, so we're gonna take the white twirly with paint color six. And using the bigger end, you're gonna place one dot right here. And then you're gonna switch to the smaller end and walk the dots straight out to this. Okay, last step, we're going to take the black little black stick with paint color 4 and we're just going to overlap these dots right here.